we're heading to the seaside town of Vijaya. Dessert. This is completely different, I'd say, from the first alcohol shop I've seen in Algeria. Vijaya! Vijaya, look at the mountain. Algeria, you are uh, full of surprises. Good morning. After exploring Algiers, the capital of Algeria, for the last four days, it is time to move on. And we are starting a road trip along the Mediterranean coast. As it is coming up to summer in Algeria, most Algerians or people from Algiers, Constantine, Oran, they want to head to the beaches. So we're like, we need to experience an Algerian holiday, taking in the views of the Mediterranean Sea along the way. So we are heading to the seaside town of Vijaya, hopefully stopping off at some beautiful beaches along the way. I think it is about a three to four hour drive, but we are taking the coastal road to take in the views so it might take a little bit longer you can actually fly it's like a 30 minute flight we took too long to book our flight so we will be taking the car remember petrol in Algeria is cheaper than water let's go to the beach thank you Thank you. Quick stop on the road. And I just thought I'd show you this. So in Algeria, petrol is cheaper than water. So right here, for 17 liters of petrol, it is 500 dinars, which is about two English pounds. For two English pounds, you'd get one liter of petrol. We've actually been driving, it's crazy, for just over an hour and we're heading to the region of Tizi, Tizi Azul, which is one of the largest Amazigh regions in the whole country. And hopefully soon we'll be getting off the highway and jumping onto the coastal roads. But I just thought I'd have to show you that. It's crazy. That's some of the cheapest petrol gas you'll find in the whole world. This is the reason that we are going with fancy yellow all across Algeria because if we went by the bus or we flew, we wouldn't be able to just stop wherever we wanted to and driving ourselves, it would have been a little bit difficult with our driving licenses. But just look at this view behind us. Absolutely insane. You've got like mountains just surrounding us and there you can see the beautiful blue sea of the Mediterranean. And this here is actually the town that we're gonna um, pass through, hopefully stop at. It's called Tigza, I believe. And it's kind of given me like Albania vibes with the orange roofs being up on the hill in the mountains and obviously having the beautiful sea. I do just want to jump in right now. These views are unbelievable. Like I said, we would have skipped this place if we got the bus or we'd flown. We'd just, and look at that, look at the sea down there. And you'll actually notice being that this is the largest or one of the largest Amazigh communities in all of Algeria you're gonna see their alphabet a lot and apparently it's a more liberal area so you can dress really however you want you won't see as many hijabs um, and alcohol is widely consumed so <laughs> it sounds like it's our sort of place we've made it down into the town of Tigzer. This is completely different, I'd say, to anything we've seen so far in Algeria. A little bit similar to Tipaza, but you come along, there's alcohol stores in the street, and it's just lined with restaurants. You've got the marina below. Look at the views got the marina down there and it's just full of beaches 
restaurants, even bars. The first bars I've seen on the streets of Algeria. And this is where people come. They again like to pause and people will come here from Algiers, chill out for the weekend, comes with friends and family. But I think this could be the bluest, look at that. I think this could be the bluest water that I've seen so far. Change is unreal. On one side you have shops selling bikinis, on the other side you have alcohol stores, you still have the amazing view, the ports, and I think they, they just seem to have done this town really well. All the restaurants are high up, overlooking the sea. I like Tigzer. So the plan for Tigzer is really just to get some lunch in a nice restaurant as we continue further along the coast towards Vijaya. But this is what I was saying. You have alcohol stores right there. I haven't seen an alcohol store anywhere else in Algeria. It almost feels as if you've gone, well, you have gone to a different province, but people with slightly different views, but it's nice. It's refreshing by the coast. And I think this is where we're going to be going. Restaurant La Albatross with a view over the pool. Now this looks nice. Restaurant La Albatross. We, if you know Matt, he loves a restaurant on the water with a view at least. And this is beautiful, a massive terrace. I did see the sign though, it's like pizza and fish. So I think I know what we're gonna end up eating. This is posh. We're gonna look at the best places. Yeah, we have the best seat. The best view, I get to look at you two. <laughs> and the view, this is unreal. I love it, the water is unbelievably blue from up here. I still can't get over this view. This is Albatross and they brought out hummus, which is like um, chili peppers and aubergine and the Algerian traditional flour bread, matlola. So I'm gonna try it because it would be rude not to. I reckon it's probably gonna be quite spicy. I'm not wrong. It's nice, but really spicy. One thing you're gonna notice in Algeria is they love pizza on the streets you're gonna find pizza cadet <laughs> pizza and in everywhere. a lot of the restaurants you're gonna find pizza so I'm gonna I'm not gonna say this isn't traditional I'm gonna say that it is it's part of the Algerian way <laughs> they go out they don't want to eat Algerian food they eat that at home the best traditional food is found at home so a restaurant you're getting pizza well oh, these look good Saha. Wow. Algerian menu, so yeah. Saha. Saha, thank you. Saha. Oh, cheers. Cheers. This is also what you're supposed to do when you come to Algeria is drink a mojito, a non alcoholic mojito. I also did not introduce who we're going to be spending the next few days with whilst we are in Bujaya. So we have Amin. Hello, Azul. And we have Amir. <laughs> Looking good. Um, thank you. So yeah, we're going to be spending the next few days whilst we drive. Are you excited to spend a few days with us? Yeah, of course. I'm so excited. <laughs> he doesn't sound it. <laughs> so, uh, so basically, this is us. We're going to be going to restaurants, drinking mojitos, and checking out the best beaches in all of Algeria. You can sit in a restaurant like that, overlooking the Mediterranean. You can get your pizza for like £2.50, and you can get your mojito for £1.50, only in Algeria. But before we get back on the road, we're gonna try and get a sneaky little beer from the first alcohol shop I've seen in Algeria. Oh, Tango. Ah, this one, can we try Tango? It's Tango also? Is Tango Algeria? Can we get two Tango? Yeah, this is the best, number one. Oh, can I see this one? Oh, Should we get two of these? get two of these, please. Yes, please. Thank you. 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 Success. Wow, the lights are a bit crazy in there, yeah. Two. Au oh, beurre? Au oh, beurre. Au oh, beurre. Apparently, these are the official, original Algerian beers for 260. You know, so one English pound for two cans. And now we have a real road trip on our hands as we head further down towards Bijaya. So this is how you road trip to 
Vijaya with a Albru Abru and Albru beer and the roads honestly the views are unbelievable you can actually take the highway but if you take the coastal route it is ten times better but let's give Albaru <laughs> This is a real product of Algeria. When we tried before, was sort of like international. This, this is real, and it's a, uh, it's a little bit warm. Not bad. It's a bit warm. The, the, the views out the window are better. Howard, by our Albaru. We've stopped off on the side of the road. Well, for you, it's okay, huh? And somewhere up here. Apparently somewhere up this hill is one of the best views just outside of Bajaya. Look at this. This slowly, 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 don't try. Wow. Okay. Step by step. You can take all the Incredible, right? Wow. Step by step. You'll love it. Wow. Look at that. Just watch my step. You've got the whole bay in front. And it's just us in the nature Easy, of Algeria. It. Look at it, Molly. Go on, go to the uh, go to the front. Oh. You can do it. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh my God, this is dangerous. Wow. Do you want to swap places? No. Yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> no, no, please. Got my hand. Stay there, stay there. Stay there, no, no, no. there you go. Wow. Look at me. Careful, Look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. But now I'm scared. <laughs> Is that not one of the most beautiful, look, be careful, but beautiful locations you'll ever see. I can hear these two in the background going, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> be careful, be careful. Very safety conscious here in Algeria. You wouldn't even know it was here. If it wasn't for you two, it's like a secret spot. Pull up on the side of the road next to a bus stop and you get one of the best views in the world. Thank you. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Perfect, yeah, we'll message you. Thank you. And we have made it to the city centre. The city? I think my phone, no, my phone is in my pocket. Uh, we've made it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. To Bijaya, six hours later, definitely take the coastal road. There is amazing views, some great stops rather than just doing the highway. And we've made it to the hotel. Look at this place, the Hotel Atlantis. Apparently, this is the best hotel in all of Bijaya, where we're going to be spending the next two to three days to explore as much of the Algerian coast as possible. Our room is a suite. I think we're 100% so far in. We're only two out of two. I think they're just so happy to have um, international tourists. British. And I think. British I think tourists. at age. Yeah. They say they get a lot of British tourists that are a bit older. Yeah, on specified like group trips, um, but to have us two, they've upgraded us. Are you ready? I'm really excited. Samat, the suite, five zero one. Oh my god, Matt! I can see balloons. <gasps> what? Oh my god! This is gonna be like an this, 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 one. this really isn't staged. <laughs> Have we got balloons and our names? <laughs> this is so romantic. Did you set it up? Probably not. And um, we have our massive room. We have storage, coffee, tea, a TV. You come through. Oh my god, Matt is absolutely humongous. Now we did get told that I think this opens opens up and it's like an open rooftop that's mind-blowing insane and then oh wow this is this is like the size of a house 
check out our balcony. I mean, I don't even know if I can call it a balcony. It's like a whole terrace. We have the most amazing views ever. Wow. Vijaya. Vijaya, look at the mountains. You've got 360 degree views of the mountains. I was not, I don't know. This I don't know what insane. I thought from Vijaya. Obviously it was like the Algerians most popular seaside town, but it's actually a city as well. You can see behind it's like, it's definitely a city, it's not a town, but we're gonna be here, like I said, for the next few days. Um, we're knackered, so we're gonna have dinner at the hotel. They actually said that they've got live music and a buffet, so we're gonna get involved in that. <laughs> I wish we bought a couple more beers, because we yeah. could have been sitting there, drinking some beers, wow. watching the sunset on top of the mountains. Algeria, you are uh, full of surprises. morning from Vijaya and my balloons I can't get over how green this place is I thought it was just a seaside town but look at these mountains in the distance supposedly they actually get snow in the winter I didn't even know Algeria got snow but we had our buffet last night I slept like a baby tried some traditional Amazigh tea people were in the traditional clothing and I didn't make the music the six hour drive absolutely killed us and we need to be up fresh to explore Bajaya and the rest of the coastal roads throughout the next few days with our friends from Fancy Yellow. So I'm going to maybe get in the pool or maybe head to the beach. I'll see you in the next one from the Mediterranean of Algeria. 